yes, I do. I think let's it's a, have a look at those. I think it's a fantastic... Number one, let me talk about the recipe. It's a fantastic idea because mm. it's uh, so versatile. You know, you can... Um, we, we're using very fresh ingredients, as Mexican food yeah. should be like, very mm. much like Southern Italian food, by the way. Mm. I remember when I was there, many ingredients and many uh, ways to cook mm. is very similar to Southern Neapolitan uh, cooking. Sure. My one is uh, a mild chili. Yeah. Then we got an avocado. Yes. I know you're a big fan. Uh, a bit Absolutely. of spring, uh, um, spring onion. We got uh, some grated cheddar cheese. Then for the salsa, the surprise was, the one I want to spoke to you, that yeah. there is not many ingredients in it, but it tastes fantastic. Oh, that I'm is sure. the surprise. Yeah. We Most got things a you do. We got a little bit of uh, uh, chopped onion, lime, mm. ah, beautiful flavor of lime. Then we got some ground pepper, uh, all spice, chili. Jamaican you know, pepper. Jamaican pepper. Yeah. A bit of chili, um, fresh oregano, okay. which is fantastic. Look, look. Smell of the smell. Mm, I can smell the smell. Can you smell the smell? Uh, absolutely. That's fantastic. I can see the smell as well. You can see the smell. If you can do me a mm. favor, chop me some of the oregano, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm gonna get on with the um, chili because the best way to get a good flavor out of the chili, the way I think, mm -hmm. it should be done on uh, um, char grilling first a little yes. bit, or flame grilling in this case. So you put it on an open flame or you can put it on the barbecue or you can put whatever you want, really. You can put it in the, in the oven. oven. Hot oven right? works well. Now, you put this on the chili, and what's happening is after a little bit, you know, roast them, this is what you're going to get. You got a beautiful charcoal yeah, you know, skin that goes smoky around. Smoky flavor. Now, there is a couple of ways. You can put in a plastic bag like this, or you can put it into a bowl with a, with a clean film on top, okay? Can I do your avocado? Please, please, you can start to do it? that. Chop Just it for me, it. yes. Okay. And what you do, uh, by putting it in a bag, you're releasing the skin from the flesh. Right. Okay, it releases much cheese, as it you does, can it see. It comes off. Look at that. It comes off very, very easy. You slide it off. Okay, you, you can slide it off. I'm just trying to be a bit delicate here. Okay, yeah, look at that. Shoop. Okay, now once you've done that, very important, you cut this one in half. See, in Italy, we wouldn't really bother to do that because we like the seeds inside. I like the seeds as well. But the uh, Mexican, they'd be fussy about that. So you, you take all the seeds away. Leaving and then someone just, else to clear up for you. Just someone else. I will yeah. clear up after. Slice everything <laughs> off so it's nice and spicy sweet. Okay, yeah. I'm doing the clear up, otherwise you're going to tell me off. Now okay, do the avocado. The preparation. Yeah? Okay. What are you, you doing with the avocado? Because I like your tip about the the little. Uh, There's a little the stalk the in the top. Yes. Always look for a stalk in the top because otherwise, it rots through the middle. So normally, I mean, I would re we're chefs. We did that in our hands, but okay. normally I would recommend you leave it on the board to take the stone out like that. That's very good. Yeah. Now what I got here for the cebolla all'escapesh is called what? Escapeche. Yeah. By the way, there is a, an Italian word called escapeche, which is exactly the same way to do it. We got the onion goes into a large bowl. Okay, this is for the salsa. Try to prepare the salsa about 20 minutes before you prepare yeah. this, so you get all the flavors together. So then we got the chili. Okay. Then we got the ground pepper and the old spice. Now, if we were in Mexico, okay, definitely mm. one of the things you should go in, it would be tequila. Tequila? Oh, tequila is fantastic. Those guys, they put tequila everywhere. With the worm? And let, no, no, without the worm, just plain tequila. <laughs> goes in here, and I guarantee you the flavor is amazing. So I'm squeeze sure your squeeze your lime in. And you know? oregano? I'm going to put the oregano that you chopped. Okay, goes in. You don't need too a much because it's quite potent, isn't nah, it? No, no, especially the fresh one. It gets um, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, salt. Of course, we don't need the peppers because we already had the ground pepper and we got the chili. Chilies. What a fantastic color. Every color, wow. isn't it? The color is great. Oi, smell this. Oi, smell it. Huh? Marano, let me tell you something. If you have a, a, plate, a platter of smoked salmon, yeah. right, and you put some of this one on top, fantastic. Absolutely. Fantastic. So this one goes in, um, in the middle. We're going to serve this one with the uh, quesadillas yes. over there. And we brought the uh, flour. That'd be nice to... on, as a little pickle with cheese and French oh, yeah. bread. French bread, that will be absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm just I'm finish my avocado. You mind? Yeah. Okay. okay, just I scooping it out. You scoop it out and chop yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just take it out. Nice and easy. Nice I just want to talk about this one. You can, in the, here we can get the corn one, the corn um, tortilla. Corn masa. Yes, corn masa. Oh, otherwise the flour. I think the flour is good. You know why? Because they, they tend to be softer when you, once you grill them. Yeah, the soft corn tortillas. They're a bit tougher. And the, and the way to do it, we can put everything in one go. How many do you need? I need two. You need no, two. actually, I need one. I no, need we're going to do one. three. One the best fine. thing to do, Anthony, is do them at the last minute. Uh, don't put this in the oven and just forget about no, it, they because get otherwise they're going to get crispy. We want to really slightly warm them up, and then once they warm, they're going to be all nice and elastic, so it's mm. very easy to work on. So what we got here, 
of course, the cheese, I'm using cheddar cheese. Yes. Okay, if we were in Mexico, they would use uh, um, queso blanco, which is just a no normal white cheese. Or otherwise, you can use mozzarella. Okay, yeah. why don't you do yours? Do your version, and then I'll show you my version. Now, you do yours first. You want to do my one. Okay, yeah. I'll use this one. Okay. So nice and warm, elastic, you got the, the grill nice here. Nice and flexible. Flexible, okay. We start with the chili. So we put some of the chili in the bottom here. And I'm do it with your hand with the like avocado. the Mexican do it. Then okay. I'm gonna start with the avocado. Yeah. Okay, put it there. Then we're gonna put the cheese. Look at that, fantastic, huh? Yes. All this one, and then we're gonna put the onion. Okay. Now there is another way you can do this one. You can put the cheese on top and then put into the oven and have a, a melted cheese on top. Yeah, be nice. But I think this way, this way is much, much fresher. Okay. Then get it here on the plate. Little, Show me yours. Little lime wedge with yours, yes. Oh yeah, they will be fantastic. There Look you at go. that. Great. Now what I'm gonna do, yeah? I'm gonna put a bit of oregano in there. I'm gonna put a bit of uh, chili onto the plate. I'm gonna put a bit of cheese. Okay. On there like that. I'm gonna put a bit of spring onion. Wonderful. I'm gonna mix it all up. Okay. And then it's easier. You don't have to fuss around with all that nonsense. So how are you going to roll this up? Yeah, you just trust me, babe. It'll be all right. Yeah. Well, I love when you call me baby. I know. I'm going to put a bit of coriander down the middle in mine. Is okay. that okay for you? That's fine. And then just roll. Beautiful. So you always have to do my version of a recipe. What's wrong with that? It's fantastic. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just giving you a different design because people like to see things. Now you're going to try mine and I'll try yours and see which one is the best one. Oh. The colours, the dynamic style no. of that genus. Don't you think it's so much better? Don't you think you're going to do it that way next time? Huh? Uh, huh? No, I stick with my one. You're going to stick with your one? Yeah, look at that mm. Mexican style quesadillas. What do you want more for life? There you go. A pair of quesadillas from a pair of um, 